You're watching Chicago's very own WGN News with Sean Lewis, Tanya Francisco, and Mike Hammernick. This is WGN Saturday Morning News. It's not ever too early to get your kids thinking about college. First, you have to start with the parents, of course. We're going to be talking to an education expert about what parents of children in middle school, middle school, can do to help their kids prepare for success in college. Next. Many parents are put off thinking about college until they, you know, their children get to high school. Many educators would say that's a mistake to do. And joining us now to tell us what parents of younger students can do to set up their children for college success is David Kim. He is the founder of C2 Education, a test preparation and tutoring company. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome for coming in. Thank you for coming in. So the question is, when we're thinking about college, are we thinking high level, you're thinking the Ivy League, the Harvards and the Yales, or are we thinking about just, you know, local community colleges? I mean, when you're talking about preparation. Yeah. So, you know, for, for us, I mean, I think it's, it's planting the seed uh, as early as possible, right? I mean, there's, the kids have so much potential at the end of the day. And it's realizing that dream and realizing, you know, kind of that curiosity um, and, and creating those goals, I think, are, are, are very important. So for us, um, you know, we really see kind of the world has really shifted in, in two directions. You, you see uh, kids going to very competitive schools. Obviously, getting some of the best jobs and, and going off into uh, you know the the world as as, as real leaders, um, and then you see kind of the other half um, that that aren't doing as well, um, you know that aren't getting the necessary support, the necessary uh, inspiration to really aspire to kind of those higher goals. And so, uh, even in kind of the university setting, you're seeing kind of a, a right. tale of two cities almost. David, we were talking about this during the break. You seem to ha yeah. we seem to have as you were talking about uh, two different types of parents: those that come in while they're pregnant, thinking <laughs> that they're thinking all the way to college, yeah. and then you have the type that are kind of trying to get through the next couple of days, Correct. trying to get their kids up and at least off to some sort of school. Uh, is there a happy medium in there where we should be thinking about? college and not necessarily when your kid is just barely able to eat a Cheerio? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I, I think it is important to think about, um, you know, the college process as, as early on as possible, right? right. So, you know, we, we're part of a, an organization um, called the National Association of College Admissions Counselors. And they put out a white paper a couple years ago that really says that, you know, you should really start having those conversations um, you know, kind of in, 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 in kindergarten even, you know, just talking about, um, you know, what is college and, and being able to show those things to a student so that that seed is planted. And so when you and I were talking earlier about, um, you know, we had a, a pregnant lady asking, you know, what's the best school district I can go yeah. to? And I, I want to move so that my, my future child can be in that school district. You know, that might be a bit extreme, but, but having those conversations, you know, at dinner, um, you know, being able to talk about it with, you know, kind of March Madness on and, yeah. you know, what are these college teams going right. on? You know, those are all great opportunities to talk about schools. I mean, it, it's funny. I mean, whenever there's college football, college basketball, um, those colleges that are in the playoffs, uh, they get more searches for, I want to go to that particular school. Okay. Let's get to some of your tips yeah. here. So one of the first tips you say is remedy any learning issues. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, learning issues, uh, you know, what, 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 we, what we traditionally call, you know, study skills. Um, has, has really kind of morphed into this uh, idea of uh, executive functioning skills, right? So it's time management as well as how do I prioritize things? Uh, how do I, you know, make sure I, I hit deadlines and submit things? Um, a lot of parents, they get really uh, confused in the middle school years. They'll, they'll see their son or daughter suddenly start not handing in work mm, for right. one reason or another, and, right. and they don't understand why. And so it's really instilling, I think, those habits uh, at an early age, identifying those things, really understanding that um, kind of during this uh, you know, pre-adolescent years, uh, there's a lot of changes that are that are happening, uh, and and you have to be patient about it, and 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 not get deterred, and and really stay on top of things. Now you say fun and master the fundamentals, but also promote learning new things. Yeah. I think when you get to that pre-adolescent stage, there there comes a point where you almost get. Um, you get scared of things that you're not necessarily proficient at already, and you don't even want to venture into that. How, how do you, as a parent, make sure that uh, your kids aren't afraid about getting into that? Yeah, so I think it's it's definitely being engaged, um, you know, with your children and being engaged with the teachers and the counselors uh, at the school uh, because that is going to happen, right? So you know, how do you develop? 
you know, that sense of perseverance, that sense of grit uh, to really, you know, push through, uh, you know, challenging topics because, you know, middle school is, is really going to be the time uh, where they're going to be introduced to a lot of new things and, and, and there's also a lot of new social pressures. And so when those things are, are impacting a student negatively, um, you know, there is a high chance of them kind of shutting down. And so it's, it's really reinforcing why, um, you know, why you need to kind of, you know, you know stick with it and, and, and go through with it. So. All right. David, right. yeah, thanks for joining us. And also us. volunteering. We ran out of time, and we're sorry, David, <laughs> no because we, we kept you on other stuff. But uh, volunteering also very important as far as uh, getting into college. Absolutely. And all this information is on his website, c2educate.com. We'll be right back. Thank you very much. Thank you.